What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'll be making today is going to be some Mexican cabbage rolls. This is a recipe that I've just kind of thought of and we're just going to throw this stuff together. Anyway, should be simple, should be tasty. Come on in and take a look at these ingredients. I'm having all these ingredients in the description below, but here's what we needed. I had a cabbage, I cored it, and then I just put it in about one inch of water and steamed it. Then I took the leaves off. We have some onions, cilantro, garlic, hatch green chili peppers. Now this is the brand I use. You can buy this frozen at like Walmart. I get mine at a Mexican store, but uh, that's some good green chili. Uh, we have some rice. We're going to be seasoning it with salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of cumin, and we have uh, one pound of ground pork. Now we're going to be making a sauce with this. For our sauce, we're going to need a little bit of canola oil, some whole milk, some, and some flour. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to use half the cilantro in the mixture, in our meat mixture, half in the sauce, and the same thing with the uh, green chili peppers. Anyway, let's get throwing this together. Like I said, this is a very simple recipe. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our onions. And I'm going to kind of reserve some of this stuff just to see what it looks like. Like I said, this is kind of my first time making this. Got our cilantro in here, our garlic, half of our green chili. and our rice. Let's give this a stir and see what we're looking like. You know if this mixture looks good to me, let's go ahead and get in with our hands. All right, we got this all incorporated together. I'm gonna go ahead and add our seasoning to it. And this again is just salt, pepper, garlic. Use whatever you want and whatever quantities you want on that. And then we're going with some cumin. And I'm just eyeballing this. Best way to cook. Before we start working on these cabbage leaves, let's go ahead and get this sauce made. So right now I have some oil heating up. I'm gonna throw some flour in there. And we're gonna cook this down for about a minute until it gets that uh, flour taste out of it. This is cooked about a minute. Let's go ahead and pour in our milk. We're going to go ahead and stir that in, and now we're going to also go ahead and add our the rest of our chili peppers and our cilantro. Let me get that long stem out of there. And we're going to go ahead and stir this in. Now this is going to thicken up. Now that this sauce has had a chance to thicken up, we're going to go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. Remove it from the heat and let it cool down a little bit. I've let this sauce cool down a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a thin layer of this sauce down in this casserole dish. We're going to go ahead and set that aside. And now we're just going to take this meat mixture and start adding it to these cabbage leaves. Leaves. We're just going to roll them up and set them in the casserole dish seam side down alright we're going to go ahead and throw this in the oven at 350 degrees actually you know what before I throw it in the oven I need to throw some of this sauce on top I must have been losing my mind let's go ahead and get some of that deliciousness on there All right, 350 degrees. We're gonna go for 45 minutes. So this is a done deal. Time for me to see if this experiment worked out. I have to say that this right here is the bomb, no joking. Try this recipe, 
I'm going to have everything in the description, any modifications I made, things like that, but uh, this right here is a hit. You can get all that cilantro, all that green chili flavor, the sauce is banging. Anyway, I love it. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out. You got to taste this.